Dacia might be the king of budget cars, but how do their most popular models hold up when smashed in brutal Euro NCAP crash tests? From early Logans barely scraping by to modern dusters fighting for every star? Buckle up for the raw truth on affordability versus real-world safety. If crash test deep dives and budget car truths fire you up, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell, and join us for more no BS breakdowns. Kicking off with the original Dacia Logan, the ultra-cheap sedan that put Dacia on the map with basic affordability. Euro NCAP gave it three stars overall with decent frontal protection but weak side impacts and poor pedestrian scores. Solid for its ultra-low price back then but showing clear gaps in modern crash demands like side protection. Next, the Dacia Logan MCV, the state version, a practical wagon update. It earned three stars too, with good child protection, max points for some dummies, but marginal adult chest scores in frontal crashes and limited safety assists. A step up in family utility, yet still basic against stricter rules. Then the first Dacia Sondero from Tram Sex in Dollar and here uh, Aldi, the super mini hatch that became a bestseller. Basic version scored three stars, while the optional safety pack bumped it to four stars for adults and kids. Better side airbags helped, but pedestrian protection was dismal at just one star. Proving extras mattered a lot early on. The updated Dacia Sandro brought big improvements with stronger structure and standard ESC. It nailed four stars overall with 80% adult protection and good frontal side results. A clear evolution, making it one of the better budget options of its time. Fast forward to the Dacia Sondero stepway, structurally shared with the latest Sondero Ars Logan. It dropped to two stars due to weak safety assists. Radar only AEB misses pedestrians, cyclists, no lane support. Despite respectable 70% adult and 72% child protection, crash structure held up okay, but modern tech demands tanked the rating. Now, the rugged Dacia Duster, the original budget SUV. It scored three stars with stable frontal compartment, but marginal chest protection and poor pedestrian results. Decent for an entry-level high rider, yet vulnerable in side pole tests.
The facelifted Dacia Duster 2017 refined things with better side barrier scores and standard basics like ESC. Still three stars overall, 71% adult, 66% child, with good all-around protection but marginal in full-width frontal for some dummies. Progress, but not enough for higher stars. Finally, the latest Dacia Duster onward, third gen updates, keeps the three star tradition in recent protocols, holding steady on adult and child protection while improving vulnerable user scores slightly. Tough in today's super strict tests, but it shows Dacia prioritizes value over top tier assists. Dacia proves you can get a ton of car for little cash, but safety often trades off for price. Newer models lag on advanced tech. Which budget beast surprised you? Drop it in the comments, like if this helped, and subscribe now for more crash test realities. Next up, more affordable legends.